Um, so I would first of all like to thank you all very much for your support and as Peter said, um, it has been a bit of slow going getting the defibrillators out there due to a number of factors. One of them has been staff. The other reason has been is, is that I've wanted to do our research extremely well on existing defibrillators out there so that we know that we're putting the money to have really good use. Um, so I've got a short presentation here about what we've been up to. Um, so first things first is um, that the diff we've got three different types of AED units that we're putting out into the community now. Um, using the full signage with rotary um, branding as well on them. The reasons we're doing this is, is that defibrillators have often become this sort of machine that no one really knows about or is in locked in a health and safety manager's office and it's about putting them in good public locations. Um, three different cabinets. Um, the main aim for every site is it to be completely unsecured so that there's uninterrupted access um, but we simply know that we couldn't do that down Courtney Place given Friday, Saturday night antics, um, putting an unsecured one down there. So the way it's working now is, is that they're loaded in the national triple one system so that if they're needed um, then the triple one call taker will give them the um, access code to be able to get into the unit. Um, so this has been a big piece of work as well in the fact that we didn't actually know where any of the defibrillators were. Now in Wellington we've got over 400 of them registered um, and there's possibly another two to 300 out there that we're not sure of. Um, but certainly once they're registered with us it means that we can actually keep a good track on them. Um, and ensure that they're always in a deployable state. So the way that also this works is, is that it allows us to use them as responders. So for instance the defibrillator that this one of the ones that this Rotary Club donated which is in Wellington Railway Station, we've now been there and trained their staff and what it means is, is that their staff are willing to respond within a 400 metre radius of the railway station as well. So the installed railway um, AED stations at the moment is at Wellington, um, railway station 2 at the airport, uh, Wellington Zoo, Wellington Indoor Sports, um, to fire, so the National Drama School, um, and also in Reading Cinema. The areas that we've identified that we would like to get more defibrillators into because of population and current challenges and accessibility to the defibs is um, Oriental Bay Beach. Um, it's got a defibrillator there when the lifeguards are on duty during summer, um, but it's again very limited given the amount of usage the area gets. Um, Taranaki Street Wharf, Frank Kitts, so basically covering the entire main waterfront area um, given the number of people that use those areas. Um, and then a number of other sites that we've basically listed down through there. And the how these sites have been chosen and has been to determine cardiac arrests that have occurred there. Um, the type of facilities such as sporting grounds um, and therefore their potential for cardiac arrest to occur there um, and, and of course our own response times and ability to get there as well. Um, Renoff Tennis Centre of course is one which already has a defibrillator on site and is where the Jumbo Tennis has been. However um, we would like to get a newer, a newer defibrillator in there and possibly look at redeploying theirs um, but we need to continue conversations. Some of the challenges that we do have is, is that a lot of it requires um, different consents, whether that be council consents, building owners consents and that sort of thing. However, we're starting to work through that a lot, a lot faster now. Um, and given that I've also got an extra staff member that's now on board, it's a lot easier. Uh, and in regards to utilising the money best, this is what we've been asking places to do, and they seem to be very keen on it, is um, the Rotary Club contributes a certain amount of money, then the site does. <coughs> For us this means a couple of things, one your money is being best utilised and going further and the other thing being is, is that it means the site actually takes ownership and responsibility for the defibrillator. So rather than just giving them something which then um, I personally don't feel is always respected as much as if there's um, sort of a, 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 an invested, um, a vested interest in it. Are there any questions on... I suppose I should tell you that we aim to, well, as Peter said to me, spend the money, please. Um, I, we aim to do that within the next two to three months. <laughs>